So before starting this video, you guys, I will go ahead and play my intro because you all know I love making intros. It's one of my favorite parts to do for my videos. And I will see you guys later. So this castle, from a little bit of what I know, is it's here in Lake Worth. Me and my boyfriend have sometimes passed by it. Last time I went with my friends and I showed them. And it looks really destroyed right now, but I always have like an interest on castles and stuff. I will go ahead and be showing pictures, showing the videos I posted of it, and also reading as the background of what had happened there. So this castle is called the Castle of Harom Bay, which I didn't know that you guys. It is 6,500 square foot stone structure that rests upon 14 acres of the lake, and it was constructed in the 1940s. According to my research, the property first belonged to Ulrich Cannon, who purchased the land in the early 1860s. It only has three bedrooms and two baths and then in the next door it's a little guest house or cottage from where a dog stays which I have seen sometimes when I pass and it just keeps an eye on the people um, not trespassing it. Now there's a legend saying that the owner of the building found his fiancée dead and laying in the lake dead. Nobody knows why. But the later he married her sister. They say they married a month after her death and that they can see a lady dressed in white floating or going into the lake. Now the Samuel Whiting family moved in the castle in the 1920s after he had won it in a poker game. The youngest son of Samuel Whiting committed suicide in the castle as they also believe that he hunts it. The neighbor claims that she saw a young man through the windows and when she tried to tell her husband, he had vanished already. Now they say that owners don't stay there. Owners move in and then they move out right away. They don't last there. Would, would it be the bride that haunts them? Or would it be the Whiting's young son? Nobody will ever know. Some say it may be even the way you have to maintain the castle, you know? It is now part of the city that takes care of it, I believe, because I have seen cameras when we pass by, and it is a prohibited area that you cannot step into. Now this concludes our first little series stories, you guys. I will see you all for my next one, which will be next week. I will try to go keep it next week. If not, you'll have it in the same week as the other one because I do work and it's a lot. So I try so much, you guys, for to do videos of these. I hope that you enjoy them. I hope that you're like eating a little snack or something. So I hope that you had fun. Um, the next place I'm going to do is located here in Fort Worth, Texas. So be ready for that. I will see you guys later. Bye.